Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Cheapytronics. Today we're continuing our video series, Cheapytronics for Paper Crafters, with a special video introducing two new products coming soon. So let's get started. Last month, Cheapytronics attended the Creativation by NAMTA trade show, where we debuted new products coming this summer. Today I'm going to introduce you to two of those products that will make your paper circuitry even easier. First, we have our new Push Here battery sets. Our Push Here battery sets come in packs of six. You'll receive six battery holders, six foam rings, and six CR2016 coin cell batteries. I've already used two in this set, which is why I'm only holding four batteries. On the back of the package, you'll find instructions for using battery holders. Our next product is the new and improved Chibi Stencil. You asked and we answered. Our new Chibi Stencil contains the battery holder shape, battery outline, and the animating LED flower gem and heart shape outlines, as well as our original LED and effect sticker outlines. We also included centimeter and inch markings along the sides to help as you create your circuit. On the back of the package, you can see all the shapes included in the stencil. So how do you use these new products? Let me show you. I'm taking us back to our original Firefly design to show you how to create a parallel circuit using the Push Here battery sets and Chibi stencil. I've notated dots on my A2 panel to indicate where my light should be. I place the Chibi stencil over the panel and orient the battery holder towards the bottom right corner. Then I trace the outline for my battery holder, foam ring, and tape lines. This is also a helpful guide if you're creating your own battery holder. Next I use the Chibi stencil to trace the white blink gem shape over each of the drawn dots. Then I use the straight edge to sketch my tape lines. My negative line of tape will run from the middle of the foam ring and cross over the small negative point of each gem shape. Then my positive line of tape will run from the left side of the foam ring and cross over the large positive side of each gem shape. And now it's time to put our circuit together. First I take our battery holder and you'll notice that the back is blank and has adhesive backing on one side. Remove that adhesive backing and adhere over the traced outline on the A2 panel. Now you can see the foam ring shape and negative and positive lines of tape. I carefully remove a foam ring and adhere it over the battery holder. Then I start applying my tape. I start in the middle of the foam ring and run my tape up and over the negative point of each sticker. When I run out of tape, I simply overlap a new piece of tape and keep going. Our fabric tape is conductive on both sides. Then I apply tape along the left flap of my battery holder and up and across the large positive side of each sticker. At this point, I've covered most of the traced gem shape with tape, so I use my stencil to trace the shape over the tape again. This just helps make sure my sticker placement is accurate. Next I place my battery positive side up, which is also the side with the writing, inside my foam ring. You can see that it fits snugly inside and won't fall out easily. Then I apply my white blink animating LED stickers over the traced outlines, making sure to orient the positive and negative parts of the sticker over the correct lines of tape. Now, nothing's happening because the positive line of tape is not touching the positive side of our battery to complete the circuit. But when we close the flap and push, 
the positive line of tape touches the positive side of our battery to complete our circuit and our LED stickers start to blink. If you want, you can slide a strip of cardstock between the top of the battery and the flap for mailing if you really want to make sure that the LEDs aren't lighting up in the mail. When your recipient receives the card, they'll simply slide out that strip of cardstock. But you can also remove the adhesive backing from the top of the phone ring and seal the battery holder closed. As you can see, the LED stickers do not light up and the battery is not being drained unless you apply pressure and press down on the holder. Our foam rings are perfectly sized to fit the CR2016 batteries included in the sets. And now you can see how our finished circuit helps make those blinking fireflies. We know you're going to love how these new products make creating paper circuits even easier. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video in the Chibichonics for Paper Crafters series and stay tuned for a new video next month. Be sure to subscribe to the Chibichonics YouTube channel and follow us on social media for lots of crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching, have a fantastic day and happy crafting. Bye!